Hey guys, welcome to Web World Tech. In today's discussion, we are going to talk about web page testing tools. Now, in order to understand uh, the topic, we need to take a step back and understand that, uh, like we as a web developers, we develop a lot of websites, which constitutes a lot of different web pages in, in any individual site. Uh, it depends on uh, like if it is an e-commerce site or a net networking site or anything as such. So the basic thing uh, what we need to understand here is like how these websites uh, are behaving for our target audience and when I say target audience I mean to say your users who are using your website and uh, they might be a mobile user or a desktop user so we need to understand uh, are they uh, getting a good experience or they are having some issues on different networks the page is taking more time and all those things so in this video we are going to discuss uh, around all these topics and the tools which will help you to uh, understand and test it now this is the uh, content section which we are going to cover in this particular uh, video the first thing is why do we need to test our website how can we test it and we will talk briefly about the web vitals as it is a very integral part in order to understand these topics because we are talking about the different tools which is needed uh, to test our websites and the tools will give these web vitals report itself the next thing will be a demo uh, which I'll sh where I'll show you how uh, to see your or, or test your uh, tools so first we are going to uh, see why do we need to test our websites so guys basically uh, we as a developer build a lot of websites as I as we discussed earlier but uh, uh, all these websites has different uh, target audience like uh, some e-commerce let's take the example of e-commerce website so suppose uh, someone is trying to purchase a product in your website and he has went to a product listing page and it has a many uh, like you can consider hundreds and five hundreds kind of uh, products listed down in one search page uh, based on any ca any type of search which user has done it can be a toys or anything so when user is landing on that page the page is taking a hell lot of time it may be 8 seconds 10 seconds uh, so user might not like that and based on the earlier research data uh, if a user is uh, waiting for the uh, like for the web page to load uh, more than uh, 6 7 seconds uh, there are more chances of user to abandon the website and go to other one for the same reasons and as we know in uh, in current scenario we have a lot of options for sim uh, similar kind of product to be purchased online so uh, that's why uh, it's very important for us to uh, understand how is our website behaving and we need to do a complete audit on different areas like uh, how much time our javascript takes to load how much time our CSS fonts and uh, all those kind of stuff starting to load which is needed for our web uh, website to run so uh, yeah that's why it is very important for us to, to perform an audit on our website on a regular basis to be honest and these tools which we are going to discuss in this particular video are going to help us in order to perform those audits which will tell us like how is our website performing on desktop on mobile or uh, and uh, on different kind of networks on different uh, type of vitals so yeah uh, let's go to our next slide and check our first uh, tool so how can we test it so basically uh, to test it there are different options open in market and uh, many are paid many are open source free so we are going to talk about the three uh, very uh, basic yet powerful uh, tools which is available to test your web pages either in mobile or on website or on uh, desktop version so uh, the first one which we are going to talk about is lighthouse so lighthouse is a, a, a tab which is available inside chrome browser itself uh, you can uh, navigate to it and uh, just there is an option to uh, like whatever url you have opened on that particular tab you can just uh, select uh, whether it is uh, you want to test your website on mobile mode or uh, desktop mode and you will have resolutions and different mobile options to be selected there and run the audit you will get a report something like this which you are looking at the first image uh, so we have tested a portal travel portal there red bus and uh, we have got this is the output in there in online network uh, on mobile uh, version of red bus 
So similar way, uh, the second option is PageSpeed Insights. So now pay, what is PageSpeed Insights? So this is also a tool which is provided by Google, but it is uh, a web page itself. So you need to enter the domain there, a URL complete HTTPS dot uh, uh, like google.com or something like that. And there uh, you can just run the audit. It automatically takes care of uh, both the uh, versions of test like in desktop and mobile and it gives you the reports on different web vitals. So that's how it's uh, you can easily find the uh, details there. Uh, now apart from these two, the third one uh, which we are going to discuss is the next one which is uh, webpagetest.org. Uh, now how is webpagetest.org different? Uh, I would say it's not very different but yeah it is something very important uh, like in terms of getting the more details about it. You can just enter the domain and start the test. Uh, let's take a step back and uh, understand the basic things regarding web vitals. The, on the you remember on the first uh, uh, this image which we have seen like there are different sorts of web vitals which we have discussed. So let's understand them one by one. Uh, so starting with uh, first contentful paint so basically it is the time which is taken from the time when uh, you have entered the your, the domain uh, URL of the website which you want to reach on it can be google.com or anything uh, till the uh, first DOM element which has came in response from the uh, that particular uh, website server and has been rendered on your page so that is the uh, that's that duration is somewhere uh, measured with this. Uh, it is very important for us to understand like uh, the FCP should be somewhere below 2 seconds which is very good for a good performing site. Now uh, we are not going to be uh, discussing the details in terms of definitions but uh, as you can see on my screen uh, as per web dev this is what they are defining on different web vitals and uh, you can I will share the link uh, of the web dev. Uh, for all these vital details and you can uh, just go there and check it out. Uh, let me know if you want to know any specific details about any of the vital. Now coming back to the, uh, the earlier screen. So the next one is time to interactive. This is the very important factor uh, like this is the first one I would say the most important one. It is a cumulative overall time that how much your website is taking from the time user has entered uh, the URL and till the time he is able to start interacting with that means site is uh, responding on the interactions which user is doing. So that particular duration is time to interactive. It is always considered to be uh, good if you are somewhere below uh, 4 seconds or 3 seconds. It is, it is in the green zone. So that means the user is having a delightful experience. But uh, if it goes beyond that, uh, we will have to see what is the problem and where we can optimize it. Uh, the next one uh, important one we are going to discuss is about CLS. CLS stands for cumulative layout shift. Cumulative layout shift is something uh, which uh, what to say. So suppose you have a uh, button on the screen and uh, you are trying to click on it and by the time you are able, uh, going to click on it, it got shifted due to any Ajax call or any internal call which was happening on the browser and it got the data back and by that time it just uh, uh, shifted the screen. Uh, so do you do this shift uh, as a user I might not find uh, a good experience I was trying to click on something else for some other purpose and it something else got clicked. So this is what is an important web vital which user is uh, as Google is looking into. Uh, now coming to the next one uh, which is uh, largest contentful paint. So what is largest contentful paint? So basically the largest contentful paint matrix reports the render time of the image or text block visible on your viewport. Viewport is something which is uh, upfront visible on your screen. Uh, so your web page can be a lengthy one but what is visible to user that is your viewport. So in that area we are talking about. LCP is good when it is below 2.5 seconds and somewhere moderate when it is below 4 seconds. So yeah uh, that's the important facts and some important touch points of few of the web vitals which you which we need to understand initially and as I said like we need uh, you need to always focus on the TTI part if it is you have to bring it down somewhere below 5 seconds or 4 seconds. Uh, now let's go to the demo section. We will see how all these tools are being uh, 
uh, like used and performed means like uh, we'll see how it works let's go to the uh, first one which is uh, uh, chrome lighthouse so this is the chrome lighthouse uh, we have given google.com uh, for testing and we'll click on generate report uh, selecting the mobile device there are multiple device options which you can see uh, i have selected default as moto g4 and uh, we'll continue with the default resolutions so let's uh, click on the generate report part usually this audit takes time uh, around uh, some some few, few some seconds like maybe 10 to 5 10 seconds depending on the speed of your web page also so we have got the results uh, you can see it's uh, 76 uh, for the mobile device for the google website itself and somewhere around 5.7 seconds which is okay but other metrics lcp fcp uh, cls are really very good so now uh, the lighthouse is going to tell us that what is the problem the total blocking time is high now why it is high it is might be because of some external javascript some third party uh, libraries or some promotion libraries so we need to scroll down and see all the details it will give us a suggestions like what are the uh, parameters where website has passed and where it has failed so minimize main thread work it is high it is somewhere above three seconds uh, so all these things uh, it is highlighting us which is helping us in order to fix our website and you can say a web page also uh, so yeah uh, so this is what is your uh, lighthouse part now let's go to the next one which is your uh, page speed insights so next one uh, is page speed insights uh, as you can see if you go to developers.google.com slash speed dot slash page speeds you'll get uh, go to this particular website if you can search it on the google also you just need to enter the domain as i have entered google.com and uh, you, uh, just click on analyze the beauty of this particular web page is uh, website is like it does the audit of any uh, url any domain on both the versions web and mob web uh, like I mean, say desktop and mobile devices at the same time so you can see you will have mobile results and desktop results so in desktop web, google is performing as 98 uh, which is a very good output and time to interactive is 1.3 second which is really very awesome and in mobile it is performing somewhere around uh, 6 seconds so you can see how much of the difference it creates on different uh, web pages websites now uh, let's uh, go to our third option which is a, a bit advanced one in terms of web page test here also we'll enter the details and try to click on start test as we are in incognito it is going to ask us uh, for some validation sometime yeah so i have filled the validation and started the test after a few seconds you will see the reports are there which has different uh, matrices and uh, lcp cls uh, speed index everything is defined there uh, you can also see uh, the details regarding every particular script or the asset which is needed for your website to run and how much time it is taking to download on the browser so that's why i consider it a bit advanced one and uh, it helps us to know the minute details and which script is taking time which is what is wrong all those things are uh, perfectly fine uh, with like a, a bit in more details on this side but definitely i would recommend to go ahead and start using lighthouse first then page uh, developers.google.com and then you can come to the uh, web page test that's uh, so guys that's what is about uh, all the different tools of web page audit uh, thanks for watching hope you like the video uh, please subscribe to the channel for more